Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to a brand new video and today I have a super huge box of dinosaur toys to show you guys. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one right over here, it's a super vintage Triceratops. Take a look at this, very cool. It has a wound patch right over here. So basically you can just remove this wound patch and put it right back. Super awesome. This is a super vintage Jurassic Park toy. Very cool. Let me place this right over here and let's move on to our next dinosaur. And over here we have a puppet dinosaur. This looks like an Acrocandosaurus. So basically you can fit your hand right in. You can move the jaws like this. Pretty cool. The eyes look amazing. Very nice. Red Acrocanosaurus. And over here I have a T-Rex from Jurassic World. And this is Rexy. There's a button right over here for you to press. And once you press it, it will go into a chomping action. So that is pretty cool. The JW sign right over here. And let's have a look at our next dinosaur. And over here, I have another vintage Jurassic Park toy, and this is an Allosaurus. So this comes together with the Medical Center playset, so you guys can see the different parts of this Allosaurus, which you can just remove, the legs as well. So that's pretty cool. You can remove this thigh portion. You can fit the leg right back. Open his rib cage like this. So this is really awesome. Okay. Next, let's see. I have another vintage Jurassic Park toy over here. This is a Stegosaurus JP07. There's a missing wound patch. That's fine. Super old looking. It's kind of dirty. Still looks pretty good and the condition is actually still uh, really good okay so yep next let's have a look at this stegosaurus another vintage vintage stegosaurus this is pretty cool you can press the plates together and the tail will go into this attacking action it will swing from side to side very nice I love the four spikes at the end of this tail. Okay, next we have a. Um, let's take a look at this. Um, this is the Thrasher T Rex. Very cool. Huge T Rex. This is actually one of my favorite T Rex toys. Incredible details on the mouth. I love it a lot. Incredible details and incredible paint work. Really awesome. So you can press the body like this. Where do you press it? Urgh, can't really remember. So basically this T-Rex can go into this attacking mode. Okay. But use this for some time. Yeah, very cool T-Rex. And let's have a look at the other dinosaurs. And over here I have a Sukumimus. This is actually like a bootleg um, toy. It looks pretty cool. Blue Sukumimus with some nice spikes at the top. And articulate the jaw, the legs, and um, the arms. Awesome. Next, from the same series, I have an Elasmosaurus right over here. The quality of these toys is actually pretty bad. In terms of um, you know uh, the durability okay the flippers are actually very loose it still looks pretty good elasmosaurus and let's have a look at um, this one over here it's a stegosaurus another bootleg version this actually looks very very good as well I love the plates nice paintwork can rotate the tail, 
and all four legs to hit as well. Very cool. Next, let's see. I have a um, Cordy Turrix right over here. And this one looks pretty good too. You can flap the wings, you can rotate its head, the legs, and the tail. Very nice. Next, I have a Stegosaurus from Animal Zone. Just a very simple Stegosaurus toy. This one over here is a super vintage Tyrannosaurus Rex from Safari Limited. Very nice. Awesome stuff. Okay, and let's see what else do we have inside. Okay, over here I have a pretty cool Giganotosaurus. This is the from the same series as uh, the Elasmosaurus and a Cordyterix. Can move the legs and the hands. The jaw as well, but it's pretty loose. Can't move the tail anymore as I've glued it because it's really really loose. Okay, next I have another super vintage JP toy, and this is a Casmosaurus. This is very very nice. I love this. So you can move the legs, and the head will go into this rampaging action. So that is very cool. So this actually comes with like batteries, but I think they have run out of batteries. So let's let me just take a look. It's a 1997 Hasbro toy. Very cool. I love this. This is actually a very good toy from Hasbro. And let's see what else do we have over here. Okay, over here I have a Conotaurus, and this is from Joe Wu. Not the best looking Conotaurus, I would say, not the most accurate Conotaurus. The arms looks weird. Comes with a base, a rock. You can't move um, the arms or the head, no articulation at all. Okay, next, I have some cool dinosaurs right over here. Which can produce some sounds and lights. It's actually very loud. This is a um, Dilophosaurus inspired from um, the Jurassic Park movie as the spitter. So let me just try this again. So you guys can hear it's really loud. So I'm gonna press this. That helps to reduce the noise by a little bit. Okay, so we have a Dilophosaurus can move the legs and the arms and the frill as well. Okay, you can move. You can move the um, the mouth too. Okay, and it's very noisy. And let's move on to okay, this one over here. What do we have? We have a T Rex from Animal Zone. This is actually pretty well detailed, but you know the, um, the sculpt looks weird to me. Okay, next one. Okay, what is this? This is a Velociraptor right over here. Looks pretty good from uh, Animal Zone, but you can see the seam right over here, which doesn't look very nice. Next, Indominus Rex from um, the Gyro Spear. Okay, so basically it has this Dino damage right over here for you to like tap on it, and it will just spring right open, and you can see the interior of the Indominus Rex. And yes, of course, you can just move the tail backwards and it will go into this attacking mode. Super cool. Long arms of the Indominus Rex can be moved as well, as well as the legs. So that, yeah, the Indominus Rex for you. And let's see, what else do we have inside? Okay. This is an Apatosaurus from Animal Zone. It's pretty nice, but I don't like the seam right over here, okay? Next, what else do we have? I have a baby T-Rex and this is a, um, a vintage Jurassic Park toy as well. And this is from Kenner if I'm not wrong. Let me just have a look. Whether it's written on the body? I don't think so, but this is a very cool T-Rex. Baby T-Rex, it comes with this um, cast over the lake, okay, it's actually like a, um, a bandage 
but the bandage um, is already missing I mean it was already missing okay so we have a baby t-rex right over here the arms look the arms look pretty long for a t-rex okay, you can move the legs okay this portion right over here it's actually like um, pretty flexible okay okay and next let's move on we have a um an indominus rex right over here and this is a chomping action irex with a uh, it's a hybrid version so it comes with body armor okay the heat is right over here i think the body armor is somewhere inside our uh, this box so we can have a look later on so basically you can move the tail and it will go into this chomping action that's very cool next i have a raptor right over here this raptor it's very nice as well as you guys can see it's another vintage raptor so press the both legs together and the head will just go into this nodding action if the mouth are open pretty cool a very old toy let me just check Hasbro 1997 okay nice next okay we have a Hasbro 20 15 is this like a 2015 let me just check okay I've removed the batteries because it was um, a little bit faulty just keep producing roars and sounds even when I you know <laughs> when I, even when I do not touch it you know it's just really funny so basically you can just push the tail backwards and the mouth will just go open and close open and close very cool there's a button right over here so when you press it produce roaring sounds and this portion right over here will light up so that's pretty cool a raptor right over here this is actually from the hybrid series but this is not a hybrid um, dinosaur okay next I have another um, dinosaur another noisy dinosaur but I'm gonna press this portion right over here So basically this Spinosaurus has the raw of a T-Rex so that's very funny so yep you can move the mouth as well very loud the Spinosaurus the spine lizard okay that's pretty cool I got this from Toys R Us and this is actually produced by a company called um, Dragon Eye okay yep next let's see okay right over here this is pretty cool cool a dimetrodon a prehistoric animal and this is like a bootleg version but it's pretty nicely done okay dimetrodon i love the sale it's pretty nicely done okay. and next let's see i can't really reach the dinosaurs at the bottom Need to stretch okay and right over here we have another raptor which is similar to the one which you have seen just now and let's move on we just take this triceratops this should be like a bootleg version okay i think this is from animal zone as well the in-house brand of toys R us not the best looking triceratops okay this Ankylosaurus is actually from the same series but this is uh, much better in terms of the details but the accuracy of this armor is not there I feel it's the club right over here it's a 2009 toy okay next I have this little um, what do you call this a net launcher from the um, T-Rex lockdown playset pretty cool and next let's see what else do we have inside okay this one right over here okay let's take this out this is a JP T-Rex a remake version not the original version so you can press this button right over here I think this um dinosaur toy has ran out of battery so the sound just get you know, cut off very suddenly that's very weird so I'll need to replace the batteries. Yep. 
So a T-Rex, pretty nice. I love the colors. And next, let's see. Okay, another Indominus Rex. And this is the chomping action. It's pretty similar. I think it is exactly the same, okay? The look and feel is exactly the same, just that they have added some uh, paint differences right over here. This is the hybrid version, and this is the original version. Similarly, you can just pull the tail backwards like this, and the head will just go into this chomping action. Let's take a look from the front. <laughs> it's pretty weird. It actually slants to one side, slants to the right. Move the arms and the legs. Okay. Okay, the next one, I'm gonna show you guys this. Okay. This Mosasaurus is actually one of my favorite from um, the Hasbro 2015 series. The Mosasaurus, this is pretty cool, but I do not like the posture. I feel they should just create it in a neutral position that would be better but overall this Mosasaurus looks very good in terms of the colors the details looks pretty good except for the screw holes so what can we do with this Mosasaurus okay so basically you can move um, the flippers okay let me just adjust it you can move the flippers backwards like this okay if you move it backwards The tail will actually springs up. Okay, it's not working very well. Not too sure why. Okay, let me just push it all the way to the front and let's try this again. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, next, let's have a look at the IREX. Okay, I didn't put this in the box as it was as it is too big. So let us just try this, the Indominus Rex. This is very cool. I actually have two of this. Um, one you know, was purchased in Toys R Us and the other one I just got it from like a flea market, which is this one for like $20. That is very cheap. Still working very well. Super cool. I love this a lot. I love the drawing sounds. And let's have a look at the next one. Right over here, I have another Raptor. Okay, this is a JP version. So basically, there's a button right over here. You can press it. And there's like this latch over here for you to pull it, pull it backwards. And once you do that, the arms will actually move. So that's pretty cool. JP, I think this is like a 20... Um, not too sure when, 20, 0, 2013, not too sure, let me just have a look. It's not written here, so it's not that old. Okay, next, a small triceratops looking dinosaur. This is actually a diceratops, I'm not too sure if they got the name right. If you guys know, just let me know in the commands, diceratops. Pretty nice. Next. Two similar T-Rex right over here. So over here I have a chomping mini T-Rex. So you can move the tail like this. You can twist the tail sideways, which will cause it to open its mouth. Nice. You can move the two tiny little arms and the legs. Okay, so this is another similar one. Exactly the same, I have two of them. And over here, I have a, um, is this like a Euplocephalus? Let, let me just take a look. Um, yeah, this is an Euplocephalus, a bootleg model. This one over here, it's another Apatosaurus, which is exactly the same. Okay, this one is pretty cool. It's a Playmobil. Kylosaurus, very nice. Next, I have a Triceratops, 
a Lego Triceratops. As you guys can see, I've, I've put like glue over here because this is actually like a um, a double which I have, and it's very very loose. Okay, so I put some glue to it. Yep, that's all. So inside this box, this last item right over here, this is a gyro spear from uh, the T-Rex or Lockdown playset. So as you guys can see, there's like a dummy figure right inside. Okay, so here we are, an empty box. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you guys want me to do like more box toys video, do let me know in the comments. I can do other toys like Marvel superheroes, Ninja Turtles, and all sorts of different cartoons. Okay, so let me know in the comment section whether you like this kind of video. It's very simple for me to make this video. I do not have to do any edits. It's just very basic. Just sit down and record. It's very easy, but I, I think that you guys enjoy this as well. So yep, I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video, and please don't forget to subscribe. Press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I upload a video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. But before you go, check out these four other videos that I've handpicked for you guys. I'm pretty sure that you will like it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next video. Goodbye.